Hi, and welcome to another edition of Adventures in Brew Slaying. I'm your host, Joshua Carboidge, and today we'll be running through a Einstock Oberg beer. Einstock Oberg beer is a beer from Iceland, and the curious thing about it is that the creators of the beer decided they wanted the purest water form for their brew. So, how the water is brought to them is actually quite ingenious. They take the natural water from the glaciers that melt close to the volcanoes in Iceland. It starts up at the top of the glacier, slowly melts, and goes through lava rock that is heated up, which boils out all the impurities and slowly comes down the mountains and streams till it reaches the end, where the people from Einstock Oldberg take the water and mix it up. Today, our brew will be uh, Icelandic white ale. It's also called a wit beer um, to people that are more into Belgian beers. So um, with wit beer, it's not usually so spicy. I, I've read a lot of things about this beer saying it's a little more spicier than maybe a Hogarden or uh, maybe a fat tire. Um, but this beer supposedly is a little bit more spicy, but not quite so um, heavy either. Um, supposedly it's a, a very uh, light beer. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the brew. Um, yet again, this beer um, is a craft brew. And most craft brews don't have a twist off top. So you're gonna need a uh, bottle opener. We're gonna take off the cap. The cap is actually kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this really well. But on the top, it's got uh, some uh, battle axes. It's Iceland, right? Gotta love the Vikings. So let's see how it looks coming down. Pouring it out. Very nice. Um, this beer has a uh, very yellow look to it. On the bottle, it does say that it is brewed with uh, coriander and orange peel, which uh, should give it a nice flavor. Um, there's a lot of carbonation in it, and it doesn't have um, a very thick head. Um, Smelling it, it just smells kind of like, um, kind of citrusy. Um, so let's just jump into it. The beer itself, um, very light, very nice flavor. You don't get a whole lot of citrus and you don't get a whole lot of spice, at least in my, my taste. Um, It really tastes more orangey than coriander, but it's not overbearing like say uh, a saw tea might be with uh, its different spices and everything. You can definitely tell that the water is very purified and it's a very uh, a natural brew. Um, also the carbonation is not very, very heavy either. Um, just enough to kind of keep it going, you know, um, as maybe a soda would go down. Halfway down, too, the, the flavor really seems to stay the same from top to bottom, which with a lot of craft beers I find the head is very strong. Working its way down towards the middle, you get a lot of different flavors. And when, once you hit the bottom, it seems like mostly all the sweetness goes from the top to the bottom. Or vice versa. Sometimes the sweetness is very uh, front forward coming down. Um, I would generally say that this beer is something that um, maybe more um, diverse beer drinkers would drink. If you're definitely trying to try something out of Iceland, this would be a great beer to try. Uh, there's not a whole lot of beers out of Iceland. Apparently this beer just came out about two years ago. Uh, it's a relatively mid-priced beer for a six-pack, um, probably about $12.99 per six-pack. It's not an easy found beer, at least in my general area. Um, you really got to go looking for it, but 
I mean, if you, if you want to try a lot of different beers, I would definitely say that this would be the one to try. Uh, it's definitely better than a lot of Belgian beers that I've had, especially Blue Moon and um, even Fat Tire. I would even put it above a Fat Tire. So, um, hope you all enjoy Adventures in Brew Slaying. And uh, as always, if you have any beers that you would like to see us slay or uh, any comments, please leave them. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Joshua Karpwich, and have fun Bruce Lang. <laughs>